Well then, my dear friends, of very unusual motion techniques, this is one of them, try to fix the camera on a door. Well, this is the end of a very unusual winter, during which I have been exercising in darkness um, the tennis wall at the university sports compound in Konstanz on the lake in southern Germany and I've been exercising since Christmas till the end of February about five times a week and for about three hours uh, during the evening in let us say semi-darkness because there at the wall there is no light, there are only two lanterns, one of which uh, is above the wall and it shines in this angle, so if I make a one more step I'm blinded and it's about the T-bar, uh, the T-line, T-bar there is the, the maximum I can stand, if I make a step uh, backwards I'm blinded and I don't see anything, even though it's a very uh, soft light, uh, but if you stand there for three hours, okay, you will get accustomed to the semi-darkness. And I was trying to hit the balls and playing half volleys mostly, it, mm, just, you know, using my intuition that the ball is here, okay, or that the ball is there. As you know, I'm using both of my hands, so in this way it was going like that, like that, like that, and always half volley, sometimes even like that, hop and hop and because I was trying to keep the rocket in motion like you know exercising a kind of Qigong okay? let me have a look if I'm not making a fool of myself uh, when this thing would not be recording well then it seems that it's recording we can continue if you can fix it well uh, it was a strange psychological exercise to overcome the pattern in which the body, so to say, is, uh, uh, the human beings is um, dominated by the vision, by the visual cortex. So if you don't see, you don't move, you know, because uh, you know, there is a block. And you have to overcome that, just saying, okay, I feel the ball is there. So I will do the motion. I will do it. I will pull through, okay. And in this way, I was trying to kind of uh, achieve a kind of... Um, psychological rapport with the ball which was going up from the wall there I could see it there was the lighted area and then it would fall down to the dark area and the moment it was in the lighted area <coughs> it would project its trajectory and would feel it must fall somewhere down here so play it and again the other side boom so I would have these short moments of seeing the ball before it fell into darkness and I had to overcome this um, this block of the mind and it worked very well and I do not exaggerate if I say and uh, now I am at the level of being able to play like something like 50 of these balls in the darkness in the semi-darkness and they are very smoothly hit okay so 
and so I was also there was complete thrill, freezing weather and now it's the spring has come and I am so happy and I today I'm grateful to the stars and to the moon and I made a kind of exercises you know for them so a kind of dancing motion okay do you see it hop and hop hop and hop 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 and hop 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 okay so this is it and to finish this very strange winter season because today I worked for six hours on the tennis court where you have seen on the video we were scraping the old surface and bringing it in the wheelbarrows taking it away and I said listen people it is old Greek times there was sport and there was art bellum et autum and so I play for the stars because they have accompanied me for those many 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 hours in January, February and uh, December uh, 2011 and 12. Yeah? Ah, it's frozen.